Let me be clear. Hurricane Michael is a monstrous storm, and the forecast keeps getting more dangerous, and we're now just 12 hours away from seeing impacts. The time to prepare is now. Yesterday, I formally asked President Trump to issue a pre-landfall disaster declaration that will allow us to draw down more federal resources. Once this is approved, my office will get that information to you. I also spoke with the President yesterday. He committed to provide any federal assistance Florida may need. We have declared a state emergency in 35 Florida counties. This allows state, federal, and local emergency managers to be able to quickly respond to this disaster. Yesterday, I announced the closure of state offices in, 30, in the 35 counties currently under our emergency order. I've spoken to FEMA Administrator Brock Long several times, and team from FEMA is here in the State Emergency Operations Center and providing federal assistance. That includes experts from Homeland Security, the EPA, the Department of Defense, Health and Human Services, and the Army Corps of Engineers. At my direction, the State Emergency Operations Center is fully activated. This means the State Emergency Response Team is on 24-hour response. We are 100% focused on preparing for Hurricane Michael. I think a lot of people have been through 110-mile-an-hour uh, winds. They've been through um, uh, 12 inches of rain. I think what's what's different about this storm that really concerns me is the storm surge. The you know we we have a chance of 8 to 12 feet of storm surge. The um, uh, I will hope everybody takes that seriously. Even two to four feet of storm surge is deadly, and so I want to make sure every local community is thinking about their evacuation orders. This is a um, this is a devastating storm. Um, you know the state has experienced. Um, winds before like this and, and rain like this, the storm surge is, is, could be historic.